Staff is bracing for more rain. When we have a severe weather event and we have storms coming, it does get um, a little stressful and nerve-wracking. We visited the Waterway Control Center for the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. And today is one of those stressful days. Engineers are trying to make room in the system for the anticipated storm today. This, after heavy rain over the weekend, caused the district to make a rare and hazardous decision, allowing untreated flood water from the Chicago River into Lake Michigan to relieve pressure on the system. As it was, some residents did have flooding in their homes and neighborhoods. The assistant director of maintenance and operations explains they had to wait until the river level was higher than the lake. Opening too early, he says, would cause catastrophic flooding with a tsunami effect. The lake is a source of our drinking water, so we want to protect that drinking water at all costs. We want to, you know, protect it, but then you turn, it turns where we need to protect the public, the health and safety of the public from flooding and then we have to you know, do what we have to do to protect them. We are issuing an overflow action day alert. Basically, our McCook Reservoir and tunnel are still full from the last extreme rain event. That we Carrie Steele is president of the district, and she asked all Chicagoans to get in the habit of conserving water use when there is heavy rain in the forecast. Hold off on running that dishwasher or doing laundry. Take shorter showers. Conserve water to make sure we're able to capture as much stormwater as we can to keep it out of those unwanted places. Basically, we're asking everyone to be a good neighbor. The overflow action day goes until the storm system passes. Those working at the district hope Chicagoans will do their part to prevent flooding. In Chicago, Leah Hope, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.